Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. I was able to go back to Japan a while ago to see my family after not seeing them for a long time. While I was in Japan, I picked up some of my favorite foods, drinks, and ingredients that the foodies will enjoy. So today, I'd like to introduce them to you all. There are many things I'd like to introduce, so I'll divide them into two videos. I got so excited to get all of them from Japan and show you all, and I hope it'll be easy to go to Japan again soon. Let's get started! First one is my favorite Japanese chocolate with mochi. It's called Chiroru Choco. They have so many kinds of these little chocolates from Chiroru Choco. The ones I love most have mochi inside. This one is Kinako flavor. Kinako is roasted soybean flour that has a nutty taste. There is a gummy texture mochi inside and it's so tasty. I also bought some caramel mochi chocolate. These are nice one bite sizes and only 10 to 20 cents each in Japan. The caramel mochi is a little bit softer than the kinako version and has caramel sauce in it. I think you can find them at convenience stores, drug stores, grocery stores, etc. So try them! Next are some of my must-haves, dashi packets. It's called Kaya no Ya Dashi and it's one of the most famous non-artificial flavoring dashi brand in Japan. It comes with little individual pockets, and you can just boil it with water, and you have delicious dashi broth. Also, you can open this packet and use the dashi powder for stir fry, french fries, and other dishes. It's delicious just by itself, too. There are so many kinds of dashi or stock from this brand, and they're so tasty and useful. Actually, you can buy them on their website or Amazon. They have so many recipes there too. I cooked veggie soup with the leftover vegetables in the fridge and the veggie stock. Thanks to the veggie stock, the soup has a nice natural umami in it and the saltiness is just right. It's so tasty and I can't go back to other types of veggie stock. Next one is red miso. I'm from Nagoya, Aichi Prefecture, which is between Tokyo and Osaka, and is famous for red miso, which is called Hacho Miso. This red miso is a mix of Hacho Miso. The red miso is fermented longer than the other colors of miso, so it has a stronger and richer taste. This time, I made a miso soup with the red miso and the dashi pack I just introduced earlier. We have a lot of dishes with the red miso in Nagoya, and I love pork cutlet katsu with sweet red miso sauce. Since the red miso has a rich and bold taste, I like adding an egg into my red miso soup. The rich red miso and the mild half-cooked egg matches perfectly. Next ones are also local food from my hometown Nagoya. Miso nikomi udon and kishimen noodles cooking kits. They come with half dried noodles, soup paste, and dashi flakes like this. The way of eating kishimen noodles is almost the same as eating udon noodles. But the noodles are flat and wider than the udon noodles. I like the texture of Kishimen noodles since they're very smooth. Then I made my lunch by using this miso nikomi udon cooking kit. I can make the miso nikomi udon using the red miso that I introduced earlier, but these kinds of cooking kits are very convenient. The famous miso nikomi udon restaurants in Nagoya, and they're called Yamamoto Ya Honten and Yamamoto Ya Sohonke. 
There are totally different restaurants with different tastes and menus, but I like Yamamoto ya Honten more since they have free bottomless pickles. Again, the combination of the red miso and the egg is so good, and the thick udon noodles go great with the rich umami miso soup. If you have a chance to go to Nagoya in the future, please try it! Next one is Ochazuke rice crackers. Ochazuke is a rice bowl dish with savory toppings covered in hot dashi soup or green tea. There are little rice crackers for toppings. The package shows it's from Kyoto, but I bought it from my local boutique grocery store in Nagoya. Also, it says it can be eaten as rice toppings, soup toppings, and a breading for tempura. This time, I'm introducing two ways of using these little rice crackers. First one is a salad topping. They're so crunchy and light. Also, I love the subtle sweetness from the rice crackers. The second one is mixing in rice and making rice balls. In the bowl, I have rice, grilled salmon, green onion, salt, ochazuke rice crackers, etc. They're so useful, and it's always nice to have some crunchiness in the rice. Next is local sake from my hometown area. It's called Horai, and from Hida, which is in Gifu Prefecture. Hida is one of my favorite sightseeing cities in Japan, and it's a beautiful historical city with a lot of old classic buildings, wonderful landscapes, and delicious food such as Hida beef and a tasty sake. Also, it came with this label that says that this sake brewery won 5 stars in the World Sakagura Ranking in 2020. It's Junmei Ginjo Sake, and it has a smooth and silky texture, but tastes bold and crisp. It was so tasty, so I decided to go to this sake brewery next time I go to Hida. Of course, it went great with sushi. The last one for this video is Yamazaki Whiskey. This time, I bought the bottle on the right in Japan, Yamazaki Single Malt Non-Edge. We almost finished drinking the 12 year Yamazaki whiskey. It was a gift from our friend in Japan, and it's like a few hundred dollars online, even in Japan. This now S was around $75 when I found it at the local grocery store, and it's still more expensive than the original price. However, it's more expensive online, like over $100. If you go to local grocery stores, really they sell them there, and I was so lucky to find it this time. Both of them are very smooth and delicious, but the non S1 doesn't have the tingling alcoholic taste. We went to the Yamazaki distillery several years ago. At that time, they had sold out all of their Yamazaki whiskey, so we bought this whiskey glass as a souvenir. We are able to taste a variety of Yamazaki whiskey though. Hope we can go back there again. These are just half of the things I bought in Japan, and I'll be introducing the rest in the next video. Please look forward to the second one. Thank you for watching, and see you again. Mata ne!